This is the quick derivation for simple harmonic oscillations in the pendulum case. A pendulum is a mass suspended in a gravitational environment, displaced from the vertical, and swinging back and forth due to the restoring force of the component of gravity. Let's draw the free body diagram. We have mass m on a length of string l displaced from vertical by angle theta. The forces on it are tension and gravity. Because its path is tilted at this point, we will set up a coordinate system that is also tilted. We will then break gravity into its components. The x component is the sine component. We will set up Newton's second law in the x direction. The negative sign comes from the fact that the displacement, in this case proportional to theta, is opposite the restoring force. We will convert our kinematic quantities to polar coordinates. We will also assume that the angle is small. Under small angle approximation, sine of theta is approximately theta. Let's substitute this in. We will now rearrange. We will then state our equation of motion in its differential form. Notice the similarities with our previously derived equation of motion for a simple harmonic spring oscillator. The form of the solution must be similar. We can try a similar solution of the form capital theta, which stands for angular amplitude, times cosine omega t. The coefficient next to the angular position will still satisfy omega squared. The relationship with period is still the same. Hence, we can read off the solution. In interpreting the solution, note that the period of oscillation is greater the longer the length of the string. The period does not depend on the mass. The period also does not depend on the amplitude 
as long as the small angle approximation holds. This is usually satisfied for most practical applications to be under 15 degrees. Similar derivations can be done for any simple harmonic oscillation where the restoring force is linear with displacement. 